All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode. I believe this is episode four of Moonlight MVP. Uh, it's been a while since I've made the last video, but um, I'm pretty excited to jump into what I have here. Um, I also thought it'd be kind of fun to um, record some of the uh, kind of the, the development and the production side of, of the channels, especially since I'm super early on in this journey. Um, let me start a five minute timer. Uh, so I, I, the way that I want to set this up is um, I've kind of tried to set up a more of a episode layout just so that I can keep track of myself um, and, and kind of have some organization to it. Otherwise, I, I spend way too much time uh, rambling on and um, it's just not a good uh, use of my time. So one of the first things you'll notice here is I think, you know, it would be... Um, it would be nice to kind of set the stage for each episode by having a five minute intro. I'm in the five minute intro right now for this episode. And the way that I'm going to do that is just create a five minute timer. Um, I've really found time is useful in, in in my personal life and professional life. Just to, like I said, I, I, I tend to ramble and, and go down rabbit holes and I need something to help keep me within uh, reason. So um, let's kind of jump into how I, I think each episode should be designed. Uh, that kind of gives um, uh, a good, you know, expectation to the viewers. I thought it would be, a, you know, five minute intro. So announcements, updates, um, context, um, maybe, um, maybe a preview of like later episodes. I noticed when I look at other channels that they do like this 10, 15 second intro to kind of capture the audience's attention because if it's an hour video um you know sometimes um you know reading kind of some of the the tips is uh, somebody doesn't know yet if they want to commit an hour of their life to watching you uh but if you can show them kind of a preview clip then they might uh they might decide by seeing that preview clip oh i'm excited to kind of uh get to that point in the episode so you know uh, i think starting off each episode with five minutes um, and then I thought about like how many how many apps and websites do I want to review in one episode so that it kind of um, it's not too long where um, you know I'm, I'm doing 20, uh, 20 apps websites that would that would be a two three hour video but I also don't want it to be too short I want it to be meaningful and I just don't know that I can get much done in less than an hour so I think um, you know if if I can do four apps and websites and then uh, just to make sure that I can mix things up a little bit I thought it'd be interesting to have like one game an episode I don't really want to be like a game review uh, channel because there are plenty of those out there that's a very saturated market but I also think that it might mix it up a little bit and just add a little bit of sugar um, uh, to to the to the to the recipe um, or I should say you know the 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 entree is the websites and the apps and the the startups and the dessert maybe you know let's try a game i also think it's interesting because games have uh games f much like other pieces of entertainment they face the same things you do in just building a regular startup or regular regular app you know they have to uh um they have to face the same fundamental questions so uh it might be fun to kind of throw in a game um, and then also, you know, that could be a way for the audience to be more interactive as well, because when I try a game and maybe get a, a record, you know, maybe you can try the game and we can, you know, put in the comments what your score was. And that way it adds a little bit of more interactiveness, uh, more fun. I th I'm thinking about what, you know, what maybe one article or one one maybe post. Uh, there's lots of people out there posting about startups and about topics that are important to share and discuss and consider. Um, so I thought maybe we could throw one in there. My goal is really to have a 60 minute video. Um, let's see how much time we have left. How much time we have a minute left. Yeah. So my goal was to have a 60 minute video once a week right now. Um, and you know, I kind of, these are notes for myself. I'm kind of like letting you look under the hood here, but you know, the preparation that goes into these videos, um, it's not like I'm, I'm live streaming a game. I, I'm reviewing people's stuff. So there's actually a lot of preparation that has to go into one video. I would say for an hour video for one hour of recording 
uh, for one hour of video, there's probably three to four hours of total work, including preparation, research, kind of gathering uh, resources and materials. Um, and then I just started listing some resources here. Where do I want to go to find side projects? Where do I want to want to go to find cool people building cool stuff? Um, and so here's, you know, a Reddit side project. I think Product Hunt is an awesome place. I do check out Y Combinator. I thought Steam is a good place for indie games to find indie games. And then it looks like I posted here a, a an article from TechCrunch. So, you know, those resources will grow. There's probably 20, 30 places I could go to to, to find ideas. There's the five minute timer. So that kind of, that concludes the uh, intro. And um, and so uh, I'll kind of wrap this up here. Um, I think what would be, uh, I'll kind of steal an extra minute here. Why don't I do that? I'll steal an extra minute. I do want to share um, two things about the the channel. Two, two ideas that I have. Let's steal an extra minute for the intro. Um, so two ideas I have idea number one is I do want to talk a little bit about milestones that I've set for myself. Um, you know, when I get to 50 subscriptions, I have 46 as of this video, when I get to 50, I'll design a, you know, maybe my, my, a logo and a thumbnail just to kind of add a little bit of branding to the channel. I think that'd be fun. Um, it's just the way I work. I like to reward myself with milestones. Um, and as the channel grows, I'll obviously invest more and more. But, you know, the next uh, milestone is when I get to 50 subs, I will, you know, design a DIY logo. I'll maybe use Canva or I'll maybe use some kind of other app. Um, um, so that's there's that to look forward to. Um, and one more idea that I uh, have not put here, but I'm thinking about launching launching a featured section where you can essentially pay to have a private review. Uh, lots of you have projects out there that maybe you're not quite ready to have in a video, but you wouldn't mind having somebody do a private uh, review. So um, I'm offering a, um, ah, damn it, I've run out of time again. Let me, I'll finish one, I'll steal one more minute. Um, let me steal one more minute to plug the, uh, um, uh, I'm going to launch a featured section where, you know, right now I've got the free videos up down to 10 minutes. I'll jump in and review yours. No expectations of, of anything in return. I just do it for fun. But I also th thought a featured section where, um, you know, for a couple of hundred bucks, you can have me review your project in private. So, so um, you know, uh, you'll have that. You don't have to expose yourself. Um, so there are a lot of, lots of benefits there to kind of being in stealth mode. Um, and, and number two is I can spend a lot more time on your project. So right now I'm kind of doing, you know, 10 minutes per project just to kind of get them through. But if you want me to do maybe 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, I'm launching a featured review section. Uh, you don't, um, for those of you that can afford it, awesome, do it. For those of you that can't afford it, just DM me your project um, and we'll do it in the 10 minute slot. But uh, that kind of concludes the, um, that kind of concludes the intro. Uh, let's jump into the episode. All right, so I'm actually immediately going to break my own rule here and go a little bit longer on the intro because I think this part would, could potentially be interesting. So um, I actually need to write an intro line to help in that first five minutes. So I thought I'd record doing that process because I think uh, it would be valuable for you to see, or if you're maybe wanting to do your own YouTube channel, uh, you can consider the same thing. So uh, in part, part of the episode layout is an intro. So I need to, I need to kind of write um, some ideas for an intro. And so I'm just, uh, I'm th I'm writing off the top of my head here, but uh, maybe just two sentences that really introduces myself to the audience. Uh, there'll be people that are returning and, and kind of know what the show is, but there also might be somebody that sees this episode for the first time, and you kind of need to like get them. Uh, uh, you need to get them acquainted to the the show. So I think uh, I'm just going to write here. I don't know if if I want to keep it this way, but um, I'm going to say welcome to moonlight mvp just as a pretty simple uh welcome and then and then and then i'll describe the show so welcome to moonlight mvp dash a youtube channel channel dedicated dedicated a youtube channel dedicated 
to trying your side project side project a youtube channel dedicated to trying your side project uh prototype or mvp uh i don't know if this is obvious but i'll just kind of explain mvp stands for minimum minimum viable product it's kind of a startup jargon that is uh what what is the least amount you could build to to put on the market and, and solve the problem um it's it's not really to promote um it's not really to promote like putting something out there before it's ready it's really to motivate the developers and, and the builders and the creators to say you know you're going to spend the rest of your uh potentially the uh, many years improving your idea but but right now, does it work and can you kind of get it to market? And you can always work on improving it after that. If you if you wait till it's like perfect, you'll never actually launch it and no one will ever see it or try it or use it. So, you know, a minimum viable product is like, what's the minimum amount while also still being viable to use? So, um, so let's lead a YouTube channel dedicated to trying your side project prototype or, or MVP. Um, and uh, so I'm going to say this and then do I want to finish it there? Um, I think uh, welcome message. Uh, do I want to reference anything? Maybe I want to say kind of what, what you can expect in this upcoming episode. So uh, in this episode, I will, I will evaluate uh, some projects including and then I would list the projects one two three um, now obviously the the um, I want to try and go into each project n knowing the least possible so you know I, um, so the intro I'm, I may have recorded some of the videos of me trying things before I recorded the intro so that I can kind of uh, stay uh, as ignorant as possible um but i think that's pr a pretty basic intro i mean i can't i can't make it too complicated right now so it will go something like you know that uh, in the next episode will be probably the first one but i'll just say you know welcome to moonlight mvp a youtube channel dedicated to trying your side project prototype or mvp uh, in this episode i will evaluate uh, the following projects and then maybe i'll give a snapshot or a preview so i think we'll pause there uh that is a a one line or a two line intro um that i am i'm so far i'm happy all right ladies and gentlemen let's jump into the first idea we have here we have something called form send what does that mean serverless website forms Ooh, what does serverless website forms mean uh let's check it out form send is an alternative to google for oh sexy okay uh alternative to google forms and form spree, don't know what form spree is. You could probably just get rid of that. Easily create online forms with a form builder and or widget. Add a widget to your website in seconds. Build for simplicity, privacy, and reliability. Okay, so I don't know what serverless website forms mean, but I know what Google forms are. Um, so uh, let's see here. Next, you've got some five-star reviews, extremely user-friendly, love form send so much, perfect for multiple websites, but don't see names. Um, um, just between me and you, if you're gonna like fake them, then like at least add, no, here's what you should do. Go get some friends uh, that are real people and like, I don't know, get their profiles and add them there. Cause we all, we can all tell that these are like, they're not real or if they are real like do a better job demonstrating they're real all right moving on what is this what is what am i now looking at this may be what is this maybe the results is this like an example of results um that are produced by the submissions i think that's what it is can i click on this no i can't click on this be nice if I could click around. Um, it looks good though. I like the 
um, if this is going to be a competitor to Google Forms, it's like way more attract. This is way more attractive than like Google Sheets. <laughs> I would, I would, uh, I would make that claim. View demo floating form. Yes, I will. What does this say? Instant floating form. Add a modern spam resistant floating contact form to your website in under a minute. Custom HTML forms have a form already. Form send can process it client side with a lightweight CDN script. I don't know what that means. Um, online database, browse millions of entries in seconds, search, filter, export, and more. REST API available. Okay, so um, trusted by over 200 freelancers, agencies, and Fortune 500 companies. So the Miami Dolphins apparently have used for form send, Sotheby's or Sotheby's, I don't know what that is, and Nordstrom. Very cool. How long do I have left? How long do I have left? Oh, I didn't start my timer. Great. We are just going to assume between us that we have six minutes left because I forgot to set the timer. So, uh, form send, you have six minutes left. Um, how it works. Form send can process HTML forms faster and more reliably than any backend server can. Form send can process HTML forms faster. Okay. So if the form is submitted on your website's landing page or your rest your app or REST API. Spam is blocked. Notifications are sent. Submission is saved. Spam protection. You have a capture. You have an automatic spam filtering. You have custom rules. That might be interesting. Custom rules. Uh, crypto only. Crypto only pricing. What does that mean? Simple prepaid. Simple prepaid plans. Credits never expire. No monthly subscription. So uh, free. No card required. Um, unlimited forms. Unlimited websites. One hundred monthly submissions. REST API. And then pay per use. White label and up time SLA. Don't know what that means. Ten dollars per five hundred emails. Unlimited forms. Okay, cool. So um, let's see. Can I uh, view demo floating form? Okay, so this is sign up for newsletter. Da, da, da. Is that an example of a form? Maybe, maybe not. Get started. Let's check it out. Let's sign up really quick because we don't have a lot of time. Password this. Da, 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 da. Create account. Come on, just let me in. Just let me in, please. Just let me in. Just let me in. All right, save. Cool. Um, so welcome to Form Sender. Like this platform. It's kind of uh, got a pretty cool style to it. Very simple. Uh, welcome to Form Send. We're really glad you're here. Well, thank you. I'm glad I'm here as well. Before you begin, please verify your email. Damn it. If I have to. Okay. I, I hate verifying emails because it takes so long. Now I have to leave your awesome platform, but I know that it's something that I have to do. But it's going to eat into my 10 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I have returned. Uh, I did, because um, uh, I had to verify my email, have to waste about five minutes figuring out which email login was set up. Anyway, back to form send. Okay, so I like this dashboard, kind of like this little thing here. That's cute. Um, I do like the, the left column. You're pretty much giving me very limited options here to get lost, which is always a good idea because I will get lost if you make it too complicated. So I'm guessing this is settings. Um, uh, that looks cool. I don't really know what that is yet. I'm sure I'll find out what's this. Um, we have um, a moon. Oh, I guess that just changed like the, the settings. Uh, it is currently midnight right now. So I guess I'll leave that. Let's uh, what does this button do that now I'm going to form send. Nope, that sent me back to, oh, do I have to, have I logged in? Am I not logged in? I was already logged in. All right, now, uh, clicking on my profile. How do I set this, how do I set it up? I verified my email, I believe. Um, now, where do I go? How do I set up the form? Where do I save updates? How do I set up the form? I verified my email, correct? I believe I verified my email. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. 
Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Come on. Think I verified my email. Let's go. Come on. Come on. How long do I have left? Oh, I forgot just to restart the timer. Let's start the timer again. I am all over the place today. I am all over the place. Um, form send. All right. So I think I verified my email. But it's still loading. Form send. Error timeout. Let's try again. Verify. Show. Oh, I know. I probably took too long to verify and I have to use the latest one. How many do I? You gonna work? Come on now. Let's go. Someone verify me. Verify me. Come on. I've got shit to do, places to go, people to see, things to accomplish. Wild to dominate. Let's go. Come on, verify me. Is that me or is that you, form send? I don't know. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Verify me. Give me permission. I want to play. Yes, I do want to play. Verify. Verify. The tabs are lost. Did I get multiple? Yes, I did. Let's play... It's not going to be the first one. That probably expired. Probably isn't the second one. Um, guessing maybe not the third one. So let's... Wait, is there one more? Let's try this one. Come on. Verify me. Verify me. Am I verified? Did I pass the test? Did I get stuck? Give me, give me something. Do I have... Hello? Are you verified yet? Do I pass the test? Let's let's uh let's try one more time. Please check your inbox. All right. So let's get rid of you. Hopefully, I have one more. One more. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, form send. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, we got another email. We have another email. Show. Zero minutes ago, so you're the right one. Boom. Give me, give me. Okay, I think I did it. All right. So I probably just like timed out some shit. I don't know. Um. Uh. But we, we'll, you know what? We'll give you that time back. Form send. We will give you that time back because what likely happened is I fucked it up and I forgot my password because that's not my password. I have a different password, which is this. All right. All right. We are back on top, baby. Form send. That was probably my fault. Um, and so let's go ahead and uh, let's give you your three minutes back. Let's give you your three minutes. You know, let's be nice. Let's be nice. Let's give you your three minutes back. Now let's jump into the platform. There we go. Now I see... Um, uh, let's refresh, let's refresh, now I see what I want to say, good to go baby, we are good to go, form submissions will appear here, get started, oh you give me a nice green button, big fan of that, um, create an online form, add a floating contact form to the website, process a custom HTML, submit data, let's do the first one. All right, making it idiot proof. I like it hosted online f forms, create online form. Give me one button to press and I will press one button. My name, my name is da Danny. Placeholder, I don't know. Text, boom. Um, wait, uh, no wait, this is, oh, this is a label, name. Text, all right, add question. Your name. Uh, new input. I can't do this fast because my uh, email. Boom. Label. I'm guessing email. Uh, 
placeholder. Email. Uh, required. Boom. This is pretty cool. I have to go fast. How long do I have left? Minute 37. All right. Um, uh, we're done. Update. Update. All right. Cool. Now let's uh, submit. My name is Danny. My email is Danny at email dot com and I forgot the new input um, hello enter characters below B M Z E B R come on don't fuck around come on no. is this a B B M uppercase M Z E uppercase B R come on boom made it message sent successfully now give me how long do we have left minute left all right um Let's answer those fundamental questions. Uh, let's answer those fundamental questions. What are they? Um, the fundamental questions are: um, What problem are you solving? You are presenting. You're, you're saying uh, Google Google Forms kind of sucks, and you can make a better Google Forms uh, for uh, as an alternative. Who has this problem? People that use Google Forms. Who uses Google Forms? Everyone uses Google Forms. But who could I? think in this situation people that build websites people that have uh websites people that oh let's look at this what's going on oh that's a preview that's kind of sexy i love that um and uh um and uh who who has this problem and um i forgot the third question what was the third what problem are you solving who has that problem and um what was the Oh, the third question was, uh, what is your solution? Okay, so your solution essentially is, hey, I have a much better version. I do, I do want to, uh, I do want to uh, spend an extra minute just figuring out where's the database. I'm going to check out the database. How do I see the database? You boasted all about it, so how do I see it? Um, is this it? Oh, here we go. Boom. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, that is sexy and you can create a new form here as well. So hey 10 minutes form send that was uh, Honestly a pretty good experience. Uh, I use Google forms a lot. So thumbs up there uh, I think that was a really well designed platform I couldn't tell if that were my issues verifying the email or yours probably mine, but um, overall I thought that was um, uh, a really really good really good uh, considering how you know uh, how much of a mess I was I was able to figure it out under stressful conditions, you know I'd love to take a, a longer look, but um, yeah thumbs up from me I'm gonna give I think I'm gonna give that's probably one of the first four out of fives uh, in terms of like um, of uh, Like execution and idea. I'm gonna give that four out of five so All right, so I don't know if uh, this is the account I think it's the account for form send so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this um, usually, um, it doesn't have any, it's not following anyone, uh, uh, one follower, um, it looks like a person called Jenny, so if Jenny, if you made this, awesome, if, if you didn't, then, uh, uh, then forget this video, but, um, whoever made form send, um, great job, I'm actually gonna tweet and say, great job with form send, um, video, uh, uh, coming soon. Uh, uh, would love to see how this project progresses, and then, uh, and then uh, let's let's throw in my YouTube channel link because I don't mind plugging myself. Uh, you gotta plug yourself every once in a while. So boom. Um, let's throw that in there, but great job form send. That was awesome. All right, so let's add 10 minutes to the timer and get started to, uh, let's go and check out. All right, so next we have something called group by, group by, um, and it says find a product, create a group, get a discount. Okay. So find a product. We got some nice, cool little sunglasses here. Classic retro square sunglasses. What do we have next? We have a yoga mat. Okay. Um, we have a nice dress, spaghetti strap dress. 
I don't know that I will be buying a dress for myself, but you never know. Um, smiling Jack hoodie, like that, but again, nothing. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, so I don't know that I'm going to fit into those either. So, I'm, so clearly this is a, a, a website for females. No problem there. Um, I can put my female hat on for the benefit of this review. Okay, bikini, lady in a bikini. Um, all right, cool. So I'm a woman now. I am indeed a woman and I'm coming to this site. And so I need to choose a product. Let's see up here. Um, all brands, F is a product. Let's see how it works. I wanna know how it works. How group buy works. Get a discount when you buy with a friend. Simple as that, okay. On group buy, there are two prices. One price if you buy an item by yourself, and another price at a discount if you buy an item with a friend. Cool. You start a group purchase, decide on an item, click the discounted price, and select a group. Select create group. Choose any variations of the quantity you would like. Then fill in your payment details. You won't get charged until your group is joined by a friend. Once you click create, your group will be live for 24 hours. Ooh. You're throwing in a bit of a time sensitive uh, aspect here. So uh, your friends pretty much have to be ready to go then. Um, might even be beneficial to give them a heads up. Um, I don't know, maybe most would, mo maybe you could wrangle like most people within 24 hours. Um, but let's continue. You now have 24 hours to find a friend to join your group, otherwise the group will expire. When your friend joins, they'll fill out their own variations, quantity and payment details. If the group expires, you can always create another. Oh, okay. Still got questions, more answers can be found here. Okay. So create a group, open for 24 hours, invite friends, buy together. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool concept. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. All right, login, business, sign up, sell on group, buy, um, FAQs, my dashboard. Okay, so let's go back to all brands. And, oh, this is cool, okay. So, mm, I, am, I am a lady for today, and as a lady of the night, I would like to choose, I don't know, any of these brands. Um, trashy and Goody, let's choose Trashy and Goody. All right, and I, um, would like to buy, ooh, okay, I see, buy solo, $80, buy in a group, $39, interesting, okay, now, um, uh, now, so, I have a question as a consumer, how do I trust that that is the uh, genuine price, $80, and you're not just inflating the price, uh um how how do i trust that's the real price um that that's just my question um because maybe there's a legit uh answer and that is the legit price but i don't know so let's see here let's look at the markup it looks at, at buy solo $50 buy in a group 37 okay that makes a lot more sense um that jump from 50 to 30, 37 makes a lot more sense uh, same here, the floral off the shoulder dress. Oh, look, you can click on the, you click on the little thing and then you can transition. Okay, why do, why is her head like chopped off in all of these pictures? I don't know if that's like, is that normal for brands? Cause like then I stay focused on like the dress. It's kind of weird that like her head is chopped off. I don't shop a lot online though. Maybe that's normal, but that seems weird to me. Like it's, I'm distracted because like her head is chopped off. <laughs> um, all right, buy solo 40, buy in a group 20. That makes a lot of sense to me, 50% off. So ships worldwide. So um, let's, how much time do we have left? We have five minutes left. Um, um, now, what do I wanna do? FAQs, let's go to check out some FAQs. What is a group purchase? A group purchase is a unique is unique to group buy. 
all of the products on our site have two prices. One is the price if you buy by yourself, then there's also a discounted price if you buy with a friend. That makes a lot of sense. It's actually a pretty good idea. How do I complete a per group purchase? Create a new group purchase, click the pink discounted price for a product, then click the create group button. Oh, okay, so I go to the product that I want, then I so let's uh let's go back to that trashy dress. I want this dress right here. Now you're saying buy in a group. Okay, join or create group. Join or create group purchase to get discounted price on this product. You can join an existing group below to immediately complete the purchase. Ooh, you can join a group below. So maybe like, um, um, would there be, uh, would there be like groups that are ready to go that aren't necessarily my friends, but they maybe I can jump on like kind of a bandwagon. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting because what if I come here? You know, I think the the idea of wrangling my friends together to buy the dress is an awesome idea. So let's start there. But also equally as awesome uh, is the proposition that I could join some kind of bandwagon. I don't know if that's what you're hinting at here, but you do say you can join an existing group below. So I don't know if that was an existing group below that was created by my friend or not. But anyway, let's create this group and we're going to call this group. Um, we are, no, you know what? I wonder if there's like something that's like more appropriate to, or more fun, like more fun for the viewers. Um, I wonder if there's like something, okay. I wish there was like a hoodie, like a guy's, maybe a unisex hoodie. I wish there was a unisex hoodie on here that, um, that I could buy because you know I'm gonna be honest I don't know that I'm gonna fit into any of these bikinis uh, and I don't know that any of my friends would either but if you had the only the only kind of unisex thing I could see is maybe this yoga mat so um, I'm gonna do the yoga mat create a group da, da, da. yoga mat uh, da, da, da. Premium yoga mat contains an extra thickness. So there, select options. I'm going to go with blue. And quantity you wish to purchase for yourself. One. I want to purchase. No, I want to purchase. I'm going to say purchase two. Okay. Add shipping address. This is my address. One, two, three, four, five. Main Street. Uh, and then my name is Danny uh, Marlon. I don't know if I can go through the entire transaction. I just want to see what it looks like when the group is created. Create group. Please complete address. Uh, uh, number one. Uh, I'm going to, how do I, uh, let's choose a random address. I don't know, what's the White House address? I'm going to order it to the White House. I'm gonna order it to the White House. I'll buy Joe Biden some bikinis. Um, uh, White House, White House address. What is the White House address? That would be funny. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Joe, I got some goodies coming your way, my friend. Bikinis all around. All right. Your card is not charged until someone joins your group. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to add my card here because I'm just trying it. But essentially, what um, um, what you're proposing is, I can't remember the price now, but um, the, what was the, the original price? I forgot the original price. What was the original price? The original price was 69 you're proposing if uh, people buy in a group, I will get it for 27. And that's where that 27 is coming from. And uh, we're going to order Joe and myself some yoga mats. All right, cool. So I think uh, let's wrap this up. Um, let's wrap this up.
Uh, it looks like you can sell in Group Five, by the way, which is m maybe very interesting. Uh, if anyone is watching this, this might be a great way to to uh, participate. But um, so, what what problem are you solving? Um, let's see. Um, I would say higher price point items uh, being more affordable. So the problem is they're unaffordable. Um, or maybe that they're not unaffordable. Maybe people can afford them, but maybe the um, the problem is that the price is not the best price it could possibly be. That's the problem. And um, and what was the second question? The second question was, uh, who has this problem? Um, who has this problem? Well, to be quite frank, uh, I, I think maybe females seem to have this problem according to the products that are being sold on your site. Um, you know, I don't really see like um, bow and arrows on here and like, um, you know, I don't know what, what the fuck, what else do guys, like I don't see baseball mitts on here. What, what other things do guys do? Um, we play baseball, we, um, we go and what else do we do? Um, I don't see, um, I don't see like men's track suits on here. So I'm assuming the people that are experiencing the problem that, that you're solving are, is females. Um, and then, uh, what is your solution? So your solution is a pretty cool idea. It's, it's, it's group buy. It's essentially buying in batches of friends. Um, I, I really like that idea. I think the, the way that would probably work is, um, is that you would either have to give your friends a heads up or um, I'm not sure how maybe I missed this part but uh, maybe maybe I missed this part or maybe um, uh, maybe I didn't but so do I send my friends a link uh, to the do I send my friends a link to the uh, to the group or do I do they just come to the website and go to that particular uh, product I can't remember maybe that something that um, I did want to uh, just point out really quickly I found this as I'm going through more info on group by uh, there should be an N right there um, um, but uh, overall I think it's a it's a it's a great idea um, I would love to see maybe maybe experiment with with females and if it works for females there's I think this could be a great way for guys to buy things in batch. So what what do what would guys buy things in batch? Um, I don't know. Do, do do guys buy golf clubs in batch? Uh, do guys buy cigars? I know there's like cigar memberships that like guys kind of buy into. Um, what else do guys buy into in batch? Um, maybe team jerseys. I don't know. But uh, I really, I do really like the idea. I like the concept. Um, I, I'm left with a, a quite a few questions though, um, and, and I'd love to maybe explore further. But aside from that, I think, I think this is a solid, uh, solid idea, and great job to those that created it. All right, so one of the things I like to do in each episode moving forward is just add one game, just to spice things up a little bit uh, and, and kind of try something different. And then also it would be fun if people that watch the channel also want to play the game, see maybe the score that I get and see if you can beat it. Um, so I do want to start a five-minute timer. I'll do five minutes for games. Uh, let's see if I can play the game. Landslide made by Troy Myers. Troy Myers. Um, Let's see here, landslide. I guess you slide up and down the little platform things. Okay, um, and I guess you don't want to crash into the... Um, guide your goat through an addicting adventure by sliding pieces of land out of its path. Okay, but be careful of the rocks. They don't seem to budge. They, But be careful of the rocks. They don't seem to budge. The further you go, the higher the score. Good luck. Okay, cool. So this person said fun but challenging, but five stars. The frustration makes me want to play more. This person said lots of fun. I'm getting better at it. This person says love this game. 
uh, I see that these are all made a 97, 918, 918. So these are probably uh, these are probably Troy's friends. Let's be real. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that, Troy. Um, but uh, let's see if we can get you more than friends. Um, I don't need to understand any of that junk. All right, let's start. Let's jump in. Um, I don't know if this game has any sound or not, but let's see if I can play. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I immediately died, and I don't want to watch an ad. Let's play again. Okay, let's see if we can... Whew, let's see if we can do a better job here. All right, go. Uh, uh, uh. So, so he can go... Ah, oh, fuck. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, I clearly am not very good at this game. Let's try again. Uh, up, oh, and I died immediately. What's this watch? Plus five watch ad. I don't know what it means. My best is six. I've got to do better than six. All right, come. So what do I don't know about this game mechanics so far? You can slide stuff. He can go down, but he can't crash up. So he can go down, but he can't crash up. Oh, fuck. Oh, so, okay, so I need to lift up. Okay, I'm not good at games. Clearly, I suck at games. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, now let's watch a damn ad again. Boom. No, oh, my brain just does not work. Uh, uh, down, up. So I need to push up. I need to push up on on the one heat, the little emotion thing, emoticon thing is on. Okay, so that's what I'm just forgetting. Ah, see? Okay, this gets a lot easier when you start pushing up down. You have to slide up, slide up. There's a metaphor in there somewhere. Sometimes you got to slide up, baby. Slide up. Slide up. Damn it. And I died again immediately. I got to beat six. I got. If I can beat six, I'll pause there. If I can beat six, I'll pause there. And I died. Down. Nope. Whew. Pressure's on. Down. Down. Up. Wow, this is a really hard game. My brain, it just down, up, down. So maybe if I, I know this is definitely frustrating to watch. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 ah, five, close. So that, uh, uh, no, no, no. <gasps> I'm starting to hate myself. I'm starting to hate myself. No. Wow, this is really hard. Come on. And also, I'm not really good at video games, so... Um, okay, so you can't even have a little bit above. He'll trip like a little curve. He'll trip like a little curve. Oh, he didn't do that. Oh! Danny boy! Danny boy! Uh, I made it 12. Alright, there's my record. I made it in 12. How long do we have left? How uh, long do we have left? We have 54 seconds. That was a fun and incredibly frustrating game. Great job, Troy. That was a fun game. Um, I now want to spend four hours playing the game. But it was uh, pretty uh, pretty interesting how, like, um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to master this game yet. <laughs> but uh, great job, Troy. Uh, what I really want, I want people that are watching this channel, uh, go and try Troy's game, download it on your phone, see if you can beat 12. If you can beat 12, uh, put it in the comments and hey, you know what? Uh, trust but verify. Maybe I want to see a screenshot that you beat 12. How about that? Um, but great job, Troy. That was a fun game. All right, let's, uh, let's um, first of all, let's tweet. Um, Great job, Troy. Uh, my best score was 12. Video uh, review coming soon. And then, as always, boom. Let's tweet. Yeah, so uh, great job, Troy, and great job, uh, Landslide. That was a fun game. 
Let's move on to the next app. What do we have here? We have uh, something called Dex app. Um, and let's jump in. Oh, don't forgot to start the timer. Start the timer. A study app with all your stuff in one place. A pretty basic uh, title there. Not trying to uh, be too, um, too much fluff. So I kind of appreciate getting straight to the point. Um, study app with all your stuff in one place um, maybe you could find a better word than stuff materials resources I don't know I don't I don't like the word stuff but never ne nevertheless let's move on what do we have here today today I learn it's just like a screenshot of the of the app I guess that's a screenshot so learn more faster Dex app was designed to keep all your notes, thoughts, and references in one place. By, pick, by keeping your things together, you only need to use one app to find what you need. Okay, so here, here's more of a screen recording, I guess. It looks like you can kind of add, um, it looks like you can kind of add photos and videos and notes into some kind of like board. I do like that you have this um, this uh, kind of video. I don't. I think I'm lost here. But going back to um, the kind of the board before with the columns was pretty cool. I don't know what's happening here with the the overlap. Looks like these. I don't know if these are intentionally overlapping the video, but it doesn't look the best. So maybe you could adjust that. So Dex is great for taking quick and detailed notes. Upload your videos, organize your YouTube and Vimeo videos into decks and create your own playlist. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the idea of creating your own playlists. Create flashcards with text and images and add them to your notes. Oh, now something has happened to the... Something is happening to... I'm getting away from that. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, access your decks on the go. Our mobile... Our app is mobile friendly, allowing you to access your content wherever you are. Study your flashcards, read your notes or watch some tutorials during your commutes. Okay, so here you have a picture of a cute dog. How much time do we have left? Seven minutes, plenty of time. Okay, okay, okay. Taking notes while watching videos. Interesting, it's a great way to remember the important things uh, Things of what you watch. It's a great way to remember the important things of what you watch. Remember the important things uh, of what you watch. I don't know if you want to reword that. I think that's pretty difficult to say. Um, find a better way to say that. You can use the notes to learn now and reference back to later. Okay, and then a, um, I guess this is a screenshot of of taking notes while watching a video. Okay, interesting. Capture your ideas with idea boards. Okay, idea boards are a great way to organize your thoughts and to and to create visual bookmarks and snippets uh, to remember things. Uh, try not to say and so many times. Uh, but yeah, this looks good, I like this. So you can do kind of a to-do list. You can add images here. I really like this kind of column view. I don't know if other people feel the same, but that gets me excited about like using the platform is this column view. Create your own playlist. Oh, this is what I was excited about before. Okay, so build custom playlists by uploading your own videos or by adding YouTube and Vimeo links. So you can create your own playlist of specific videos. That would actually be awesome. Um, uh, want to see some sample decks? Yes, I do. Let's see here. Uh, that's Python tutorial, Mandarin, popular dog breeds, technical trading. Um, let's do popular dog breeds. So this is a deck. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it has any text, but oh, I see. So uh, so these are. This is very cool. So if you just click on these, they are different dog breeds. No text. But I see someone has decided to share this flashcard deck. If you would like to create your own, create an account here. Oh, I like that. You're using kind of this deck for me to view. And then I can go create my own. 
Let's do that really quick. Let's do that very quickly. Uh, I am excited to create my own deck. My uh, name is Moonlight MVP. Password. Sign up. Woohoo! Thanks for signing up. An email with a sign up token is being sent to your email address. To complete registration, please enter the token here. Okay, okay. All right, so let's uh, paste that token in and verify. Token not found. Oh, balls. Sign up token. Boom. Verify. Uh, sign up token not found. All right, and I am in after a little bit of uh, troubles here and there. Nothing to do with Dex app. I just have a million emails. All right, so let's take a look. We have a couple of shapes up there because we uh, love shapes. We have something called store. I don't know what store is. The store is currently unavailable, but we are accepting submissions. All uh, right. Oh, I guess. So eventually you want to sell them. That's cool. So we have a search. What is there to search? Is there anything to search? Hello? Hello? No, nothing to search. We have this thing up here. That's cool. Um, purchases, flashcards, videos, notes. Idea boards recently deleted. Uh, collections. Okay, so um, you've given me one big button to press. So my, uh, my favorite saying is, if you give me one button to press, I shall press one button um, and I appreciate you doing that so now this is a new collection uh, and it's gonna be a gallery so I'm gonna choose um, I'm gonna choose that thing and I'm gonna give it a name and this is moonlight MVP collection description a collection of moonlight MVP uh, resources because uh, I have a YouTube channel that you are watching. So now I've I've started a collection. I don't know if that was what I selected, but never, nevertheless. Okay, so this is my collection. Um, now I want to add, so I can add flashcards, videos, notes, ideas. Let's add a new deck. Oh, no, let's, we don't want to do that. Let's add, let's add a note. Can we add a note? New, can we add a note? New deck. No. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you choose the notes. I mean, you choose the deck type down here. I missed that the first time. Um, you may want to make that like different. I don't know. Uh, so uh, n the notes name is um, um, I don't know. Uh, introduction to uh, deck app. And so let's create that. So now where did that go? Is this it? I guess this is it. It has the same image as the collection, so I've selected it. Can I edit? How do I edit? Can I, I want it, introduction. Was that the note? Oh, I can double click on it, okay. I'm a little bit confused, but we shall prosper. So um, I think maybe I was I don't know. So let's just add here. Um, type. Um, uh, I like Dex app. It's pretty cool. I am writing this as I learn how to use the platform. Okay. Add tag. I don't know. Uh, introduction. Introduction. And then give me a nice blue button. I like it when uh, when platforms do this. Like, what's the one thing you want me to click here? If you could communicate to me in using color and position, you know, it's clear that you want me to press this nice, sexy blue button. And I shall press the nice, sexy blue button. So there's my note. So let's ask the fundamental questions. Um, what uh, problem exists? Um, the problem may be, I don't know, there's a lack of um, places you can go to that 
uh, enable you to express your creativity or create uh, or, or a place to store creative thoughts and ideas and a, a, a place, maybe a problem. The problem is there aren't many good places where I can maybe brainstorm or like just get all of my uh, creative uh, ideas and designs into one place. So you're, uh, that, that's the problem is there isn't a good platform. Um, who has that problem? Uh, you know, abstractly big picture. I think creative people probably have that problem. Deep thinkers have that problem. Um, maybe, maybe people that are maybe designers, uh, have this problem. Um, people that kind of like have to go through a design or creative process and they had to, they have to like consolidate resources first. Um, so, uh, but, but that's like kind of big picture. Who is there like a job occupation that would have this problem? Um, you know, I, maybe, uh, a project manager, inside like an architect firm like they just want to consolidate ideas or something like that or maybe um somebody that wants to put on an art exhibition and they need to kind of just consolidate ideas um and uh so what is your solution your solution is uh you have the ability to create boards and consolidate uh you said stuff i think you should reword stuff find a better word for for stuff um you know, your solution is a place to kind of to to consolidate ideas, um, upload resources, create. I really like the idea of playlists. I didn't get to it. This is like, if anything, this this will do uh, you justice. Um, I really like the dark screen, by the way. I, uh, I, I, I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I think this is supposed to be like, I think this uh, is, is uh, not supposed to be there. Um, but I do, oh, I like that. I like, what does that say? Build decks to collect or organize your thoughts and material. Uh, maybe there's an S on the end of material. This line right here. Okay, hold on. This line right here. You need to put right there, I believe, me. And also make this sexier. This isn't that sexy. In fact, I think you can just get rid of this. Get rid of this. This isn't. It, this ain't doing anything for you. This is confusing. And it, to be honest, it, this looks like it could arguably be an ad. And like this is like some, like placed ads in here. Like and they're trying to sell me shit. You should probably start with this. This is awesome. Or this. Anyway, good job. Like the platform. Um, I I think uh, it, it's it has some more development to go. Um, Maybe you could create a nicer logo as well. Dex is kind of, I like the name Dex, but uh, uh, you know, you can do much better with the logo. But thumbs up, great job from me. Look forward to kind of seeing where this project goes. Um, nice work. All right, uh, before we have, uh, all right, before I go ahead and end this episode, I did want to give you a, Kind of a sneak peek or a preview into what's going to be coming in the next um, next episode. It's actually going to be a part two. Uh, I couldn't really get the, the into this episode, but I, I was I just happened to be on Twitter and was having a discussion about Twitter to like one other person. It was a random conversation, um, and I happened to just say I've tried to spend uh, money on Twitter ads a few times. The ability to run ads targeting. Followers of accounts is genius, which I do, I believe uh, Twitter should have the best uh, ads platform. But I said, but their ads flow is terrible, doesn't work sometimes, and I've recently been surpassed by LinkedIn ads. Uh, I don't think LinkedIn ads is even the best either, but I do think they've done a better job than Twitter. I think of all of them, Facebook probably has the best ads platform um, that I've used. So I just happened to be discussing Twitter's ad platform, uh, you know, as with anyone, you know, I'm talking a little shit here and there, and then I forget about it. Didn't didn't think of any, anything of it. So, um, and then I got a response by somebody called James Lacroix, um, who said, "Danny, thank you for sharing. I would love to hear uh, where your biggest frustration points are with ads flow and what 
you would specifically like to see us improve. I'm happy to continue the conversation in this thread or my DMs are open. If you'd prefer to discuss, I said, I got you. I will do one bet and record me trying to set up an ad. Stay tuned. He said, incredible. We have lots of improvements in the works. So I'm looking forward to seeing if we catch any of your challenges and more importantly to learn about anything we missed. So um, I don't really know who James LaCroix is, so I just happened to click on him. And I guess James LaCroix is the product design manager at Twitter. So nice to meet you, James. Not trying to call you out, uh, not trying to call Twitter out, but hey, it is what it is. I was talking shit on Twitter and uh, and you asked for some feedback. Um, little did you know that I actually record videos. Um, it just happened to be pure coincidence that you, that, um, you came across me. Um, so, uh, the, this is going to be kind of a special part two to the, to the, uh, to this episode. Um, and this is going to be probably, this could be a 20, 30 minute video to be honest. So, um, just kind of a heads up there side note. So friendly reminder, I am offering private reviews. So if you like what I'm doing here and you maybe are not ready to disclose your, what you're working on or you're in stealth mode. Um, for a couple of hundred bucks, I will do this uh, privately and I will spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes on it. And I can even um, maybe fill out a survey you want me to fill out or I can even get on the phone. But that's going to be a couple of hundred bucks. Why am I doing that? I'm going to do that so that I can keep funding this channel so that I can reinvest in this channel. And so that um, I can make money a little earlier than than um, kind of when the ads platform would kick in. Um, there's no way I'm going to make any money uh, using, uh, having ads on my channel. I'm just way too small right now. So, uh, I am charging a couple of hundred bucks. Uh, for those of you that can't afford it, you can still submit your ideas. I will get to it, but there's no chance that I will get to it anytime soon. I'm getting more submissions than I'm able to keep up with. Um, but if you want to spend a couple of hundred bucks, one, you get fast tracked. I'll get it to you probably within the next seven days Two, it can be 20, 30 minutes long and three, it can be private uh, if you would like it to be so, uh, but James didn't, um, James is not paying me to do this. Twitter is not paying me to do this. I will happily do this for Twitter. Hey James, if you want to retweet this, that would be great. That would be awesome. Uh, but I ask for nothing in return other than, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a subscription to, uh, to my YouTube channel. Uh, but aside from that, let's jump straight into the, again, the context here is Twitter's ads platform. I think it should be the best and it's not very good. So um, this is largely unscripted. Let's see if I can run an ad relatively easily. Let's go. Uh, 